Hello, I'm going to show you how to make a couple different functions like equip, add item, and a helper function called has item. So, and also, um, if there's time, I might show you how to make a quick enemy class. So we'll define a new function, call it equip. The first argument is self, second argument is item. Now, I personally put, pass in the name of the item to it, you can pass the whole object if you want to, but that's just up to you. That's a preference. So say try and then for key in self dot inventory dot items dot keys. Then we say self or sorry. If item is equal to key self dot equipped equals items dot all items at the key of the item name and then we uh, we get the name and which is self dot equipped dot name and then we return print you have equipped F for format, and then do item. Alternatively, you can do um, self name. And then we get out of the out of the loop, and then we type in print new line three exclamation points. We do not have that item. And give the new line. So what happens here is we'll loop through and if we don't find the item then this terminates and comes out to the print which we return. That way we come straight out of the function and nothing else gets executed. Granted nothing else really will be unless there's an error but yeah. So accept exception as E and then we say uh, print debug line what is it 126 character dot pi error is e so there's that so just a quick run over here in this context we pass the name of the item to this function equip and then we try to loop through our inventory so or the items in the inventory just through their keys so we can match the key to the item name because the keys in this dictionary are always going to be the name of the item so then we say if the item name or if the item either way is equal to the key then we assign the item which is item at which is items dot all items at the key of the item name and we assign that to equipped and then we get the name of it and then we tell them that you, they've equipped it and then if we don't get anything through through looping then we just return and tell them that they don't have the item so then if there's an error for some reason then we'll be able to see it because we gave ourselves a debug there so there's that and now let's uh, make a helper function we'll call it has item and then we'll say self and item and then we'll try amount equals self dot inventory dot items at the key of item dot name for consistency I would just recommend just throwing or passing through your uh, your entire object it was So, if you're passing your entire object, it would be everything here would be item.name instead of just item. So now, in the has item, amount equals self.inventory.items at the item name. And we return true, except return false. Now, why? 
because when we're trying to get an item that doesn't exist, so if the item isn't in their inventory, but we still try to get it, we will get an error. And then once we get the error from that, it'll instantly return false because that's what try and accepts do. And if this, if amount actually exists, so if the item here exists, then we return true and tell ourselves, yep, they have the, they have the item. So now we'll make, uh, we'll define a new function and call this one add item self item. And this is what, what the user will be doing to pick up an item. So we'll say if not self dot has item item then self dot inventory dot items at the key of item oops, dot name it equals one and then we say print f for format string you've added name to oops sorry item dot name to your inventory and then we just actually we could just return the print statement okay and then we say else if elif self dot has item pass in the item we say ants for answer equals input let's give it f for format string you already have item would you like to pick it up anyway let's do item dot name because we're not actually just passing the name so we do if ands dot lower so we don't have to worry about capitalizations <coughs> is equal to y then we return or well no we have to self dot inventory dot items at the key of the item dot name plus equals one and then we return print f for format the string dang it and we say you've added another item dot name and then then we say elif ands dot lower is equal to n. Then we say return print f. We put the item dot name back where you found it. And then else so if they don't say yes or no then we say uh, else return or well no print please choose yes or no and then we return the function again self dot add item and pass the item in again and then we can come out of that and then we just say else well actually there, there's no reason to put the else so what happens is we pass in the item object and then if if the user doesn't have the item then we add the item to it and tell them to the inventory and then tell them that they've added it Ooh, typo and then 
we check and see if they already have the item. So if they do have the item, then we tell them, hey, you already have one of these, do you want another one? And then if they say yes, we add it and tell them that they've added another one. And just, oh, let me do this. You now have, let's do uh, dot inventory dot items at the key of item dot name. And then say item dot name. And then what that'll do is so we go in and when you key into a dictionary like this, you actually get the value instead of that the key. I don't know if that was obvious, but yeah. So we tell them that they've added another one, another whatever it is, and then we tell them, hey, you now have this many of this name. Come on, computer, don't freeze. And then if they say no, then you tell them, okay, you put the item back, and you don't do anything with it, and if they don't put any either of these, then you tell them, please choose yes or no, and return the function again. That way, they're prompted once more for this to be able to pick if they want it or not. Okay, so there's that. So now we'll be able to go through the world and if they come across an item they want to pick up, then they can just click in add item or pick up item or whatever. And um, we'll make um, we'll make actions for these in the later later time, but for now let's just make a new file and we'll call that enemies.py and this should be fairly simple if you remember any of the other stuff it's pretty much the same thing so just class enemy not subclassing anything so we do def init self lvl for level name description health strength and then we do the most tedious thing out of all of this. Here we're setting alive to false, that way, I don't know, it's just there. It's just the default. We'll just do it like that. There's no real reason because once we start a, a fight, then alive will become true until they die. So, okay. And then we'll make another function called attacks self player. We'll pass some player here so so it has something to attack. So then we'll say print. Um, we'll format the string. Uh, self dot name. Oops, <laughs> sorry I got used to Django. <laughs> self dot name attacks. And then we'll say AP for attack power. And I'm just going to do randoms, which by the way, I forgot to import random. But I'm just going to do random numbers between a certain range. You can go through and find or figure out a, uh, a formula for it, but that's, that's up to you. Import random. Okay. Random dot rand int. A number between 0 and 5. And then we'll say temp for the chance to hit. So uh, let's, let's rename that better. Chance equals random dot rand int between 0 and 101. I don't know, I just picked it. And we'll say if chance is greater than 50 and chance is less than. 80, then you can type in print. You've been hit for um, let's format the string. AP health. And then we can subtract that from the player health player dot health minus equals AP and then we will print out 
of format string player dot player dot name else and then we'll do that player dot else okay there's that and then we will say if player dot health is less than or equal to zero then player dot is alive equals false and then we say else print this should actually be hang on this should be up here and we'll print self.name missed okay and then we'll check and see if the player is still alive so there's that <coughs> and then we can say def string representation self return f a self.name with a health of self dot health and a string of self dot string. All right, and there's that. And now we can make one. So I'll just make a goblin. So goblin equals enemy. We'll give it a level one. A name of goblin, a description of a goblin, five health, two strength. So there's that. Um, next videos, I will show you how to ma how to randomize interactions like that. Maybe make the actions for the uh, for the new functions, and possibly even make like loot boxes and stuff like that and actually put items out into the world all right so i hope you learned something if you have any questions let me know in the comments and i will do my best to help you later